Bloomfield's dedicated update show. Events, businesses, and people. Anything and anyone causing a ripple in the community. And now, let's dive in to the Splash Live. Good morning and welcome to the Splash Live. Dave Scott in our Splash Studios right here in the greater West Bloomfield area. Good to be with you on this beautiful, sunny Wednesday right here in the area. It's going to be cold. We'll check all the weather in just a couple of minutes. First of all, uh, let's take a look at how you can watch us and who we are. If you've not tuned in before, this is the Splash Live. Good morning. I'm Dave Scott. The Splash Live is part of 90 Minutes of Live Local Television each and every day. We're here for a half an hour doing just a show about West Bloomfield, Kego, Sylvan Lake, and Orchard Lake. My good friend Tyler Keefe checks in in Studio B at 10 o'clock for an hour of information about our four communities, plus Oakland County, plus Metro Detroit, and plus the state of Michigan when those stories impact you. It's an hour and a half of live local television right here in your own community channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Easy to watch us each and every day. We're on Comcast Channel 15. If you're in the greater West Bloomfield area, been there for over 20 years. You can watch us on Channel 99 if you happen to be an AT&T subscriber. We invite you to watch all of our programming on our website. There it's in full high definition and you've got all of the archives and a lot of additional information. Civic Center TV. Com. We're big into social media. Who isn't? We're live on Facebook this morning and also live on YouTube this morning. You can tune into those channels by looking for Civic Center TV. And then we have our own radio station, 89.3 Lakes FM. And you can tune in as you're heading out and going about your activities for the day and take the show with you. If uh, you're tuning in later in the day, out of our morning time slot and you're watching our show, that's cool. We repeat the show many times throughout the day so you can get up, up to date. It's the Splash Live Megacast, 90 minutes of live programming right here on Civic Center TV. First thing today is a look at the weather and uh, really nice, as nice as day we've had all week, cold, but sunshine and when I say cold, it's real. This isn't too bad. We're at 40 degrees as we kick off the show here around 9.32, but uh, later on in the day, it's gonna warm up nicely up to 54 degrees and uh, that's going to be about it. We're not going to have a 70 degree day, but the sunshine will make it feel better. Tomorrow again, a mix of clouds and sun, a little bit warmer up to 58 and then Friday and through the weekend, some precipitation on and off and it will be a lot more cloudy. So enjoy uh, the weather, the nice sunshine today and tomorrow get out for a walk, get some of the yard work done, whatever you need to do in our greater West Bloomfield area. Coming up on the show today, we're going to check in with Stan Levine from the greater West Bloomfield uh, Chamber of Commerce and talk about this story I'm going to share with you and a whole lot more. There's a lot of businesses coming to our community. Why? Because they want to be here because they love West Bloomfield just like we do and Kegel and Sylvan and Orchard Lake. Uh, one of those is a local restaurant group who owns Nara Sushi and, uh, and Hibachi Steakhouse on uh, Maple Road. They Right across the street, they own Prime 29. You've probably seen those in the Old, Orch Old Orchard Mall. Uh, uh, Narasushi on the other side of the street, Prime 29 right in the corner there at the Old Orchard Mall on Maple Road. And uh, they are getting ready to open a new restaurant in the former child location. This time it's Italian. They are proud to announce Aurora Italiana will be the latest venture from Prime Concepts based right here in West Bloomfield, a local restaurant group who has our restaurants and then um, other great restaurants around, including uh, some fine restaurants in Detroit. The new restaurant will be at 6199 Orchard Lake Road and feature a menu of dishes commonly found in Italy. So great Italian food. So I was thinking about that and those restaurants and those locations and growing up in West Bloomfield, right down the road within a mile of Maple and Orchard Lake Road, I grew up right at Maple Road, uh, I thought about how far we have come and if we are what we've eaten and what we eat, we have come a long way. So uh, Prime 29, that that's in the old Big Boy location. So here's a picture of Big Boy. I'm not so sure that was our West Bloomfield Big Boy, but I, I can remember as a kid, that was a place, Maple and Orchard Lake Road. It was open after the other grocery stores and things in the Old, old Orchard Mall would close. And uh, we would go in there for, you know, just uh, lunch, dinner, all that. But it'd be a great place to go in for a cup of coffee in the evening or to get together with 
with friends, um, the big boy right there at the Old Orchard Mall at Maple and Orchard Lake. Well, of course, now you know big boy's not there. Prime 29 is there right now, and they've got an amazing restaurant, and it's a great place, and we love to go eat there now. Right across the street uh, was, back in the day, was Ponderosa, and it was a Ponderosa Steakhouse. That, again, isn't our picture, but honestly, that's exactly what it looked like. Um, all the Ponderosa locations back in the day, and we're talking back in the 70s um, now, uh, they look like that, and that was a great place to go in and get a very inexpensive steak. There's still a couple of Ponderosas around. I know there's one on uh, I-75 in West Branch as you're driving up to northern Michigan, but in that same <clears throat> Ponderosa location, hard to even remember it was a Ponderosa, is uh, the our sushi and steakhouse and that's exactly where that is right now and what a great restaurant that is and a great addition to uh, to our restaurants in West Bloomfield amazing sushi they cook right at their table like the other steakhouses uh, and it's an awful lot of fun and a, just an amazing great atmosphere great place for a uh, Friday night or rather any night out right across the street again from Prime 29 and then here's the big throwback for people that haven't been around around the community for a long time and just know these locations is what they are now. Um, where Aurora is going to go used to be this. <laughs> That's right, sign of the beef carver. And I can remember on those days when mom didn't want to cook dinner after working a long day at the Detroit Public Television. She was a working mom. She'd come home. And uh, it was a big night in our family when we could all go right down the road to sign of the beef carver. I look at that sign and I remember that location. And there have been so many other restaurants at that location on Orchard Lake Road, right next to the Orchard Mall. Um, you know it now as where Chow is, and that's where Aurora is going to be. It's been a ton of different restaurants over the years. It's a great location right on, on Orchard Lake Road. But here's a couple of pictures of what it's going to look like inside the Aurora restaurant. Very cool, very hip, great place to entertain, and they also are going to have um, a room, a banquet room there. There's always been one in the back, so very cool. Listen, um, the Prime Concepts Group has always done a great job with restaurants. I congratulate them. And West Bloomfield, all I could say is we've come a long way, baby. So uh, really nice to have these amazing restaurants here. And, and obviously, if our top restaurateurs continue to invest in West Bloomfield, it's good for business for them, and we couldn't be more excited. Suzanne Levine from the Greater West Bloomfield Chamber of Commerce will be with us in a couple of minutes. We'll talk about those developments. We'll talk about the addition of Schuler Books. We'll talk about uh, a new car dealership coming here to Detroit and uh, West Bloomfield and a whole lot more as we take a look at what's going on in, uh, in our area from a business standpoint. So notice from our sheriff this morning, I'm gonna put the glasses on and read this. This is from Sheriff Mike Bouchard, Oakland County Sheriff. He is cautioning residents in our area to be wary of telephone scams in which a caller threatens to arrest you um, and ask for a cash bond because supposedly you failed to appear in court. My goodness. I mean, what a scam. If I got a call like that at my house, and I'm pretty, you know, protective of scams, pretty sophisticated about that, but, uh, you know, that would, that would scare the living daylights out of me, and that's why the sheriff shared this announcement with us to share it with you. Bouchard said two separate complaints were made on Monday by residents who came to the sheriff's office to turn themselves in for arrest just like Donald Trump, sorry, uh, to turn themselves in for arrest, assuming they had warrants um, that, that did not exist. The scams are nonstop and one common thread, Bouchard said, they always demand money over the phone. So, um, you know, that's your clue. They always demand money over the phone in one fashion or another. No law enforcement agency would ever do that. They get their money the old-fashioned way. They come and arrest you, <laughs> right? So uh, just look, watch out for the scam. Be careful. If somebody calls you and they say you got some outstanding warrant and you got to give them money right now or you're going to go to jail, uh, it, it isn't true. Get all their information. Call the sheriff. Call the West Bloomfield Police. 
and uh, let them know about it so we can put a stop to this. The other good way to put a stop to this is to let you know about it so you do not fall victim to it, and that's what we have just done. West Bloomfield Parks has been a trusted provider of family fun for 50-plus years here in West Bloomfield. They allow us to learn, they inspire us, and they cultivate your children's sense of adventure with all kinds of things, including these summer day camps. And they also write really good marketing materials, don't they? Uh, the summer day camp um, sign-up time is now. Popular camps will sell out. You can see they have Camp WB, sports camps, STEM camps, good opportunity for your kids to expand their knowledge base a little bit, art camps, and then single-day nature courses and camps. So um, it's camp time. Get your kids registered. Go to WB Parks for more information. Sylvan Lake, it's going to be a big weekend for you this weekend as the Sylvan Swap is going up. They call it the Sylvan Summer Swap and Sale happening on Sunday. Um, you can get there early. There's going to be coffee. You can see pictures here. People that have brought some of the fun stuff that they've enjoyed over the years that maybe they're not using as much. Maybe you can enjoy it. And, and what's going to be great about this this weekend and this event is that if you live in Sylvan Lake or Kego or any of our lakes areas, head over there because you're going to find a lot of the kind of lake stuff that uh, you might enjoy and find a really good value. So swap and sale from 11 to 4 if you have items you want to sell. Go on over there if you want to buy some items. Great. There's going to be a water safety course. As you can see on your screen, uh, there'll be a canal cleanup program. Good thing to do to help our community. And, uh, and a whole lot more. Some food later on in the afternoon. Coffee earlier in the day. Looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I'll try and make it over. See if we can do it. Hopefully you'll make it as well. Um, it is the Sylvan Summer Swap and Sale going on Sunday. We're going to take a break. We've got a lot more news. Suzanne Levine will check in in just a couple of minutes. We'll talk about all the amazing business development going on in our community. That and more coming up. We'll be right back. Good morning. I'm Dave Scott. This is The Splash Live. Back in a moment. We'll be right back with The Splash Live. Let's savor these moments, made possible by the COVID-19 vaccine. Keep the dining out going by keeping yourself protected and your COVID-19 vaccines up to date. How can you get involved with upcoming elections? West Bloomfield Township wants you to join the ranks as an election inspector. Get trained on using polling equipment, proper procedures for handling ballots, and more to keep the voting process smooth and safe. If you're interested, go to wbtownship.org for more information or call the clerk's office with the number provided on screen. This community update from Civic Center TV and 89.3 Lakes FM. Watch Civic Center TV with our brand new live captions. To turn on live captions, go to civiccentertv.com and click Watch Live. In your web browser, click on the Options tab in the top right and find the Accessibilities tab. Then just switch on live captions to heighten your enjoyment of our local programming. Thank you so much for watching Civic Center TV. And now, back to The Splash Live. Good morning. Welcome back to The Splash Live. Dave Scott here on Civic Center TV and The Splash Live. Great to have you with us all across our greater West Bloomfield area on the web, on social media, on Facebook, YouTube, uh, everywhere. Don't forget, as you might have seen during that uh, quick break, it is election time right now. And uh, the official election day is May 2nd. We have the school bond ballot issue coming up. And in Kego, we have... Um, 
the police millage coming up as well. So Election Day is the second. The clerk's offices will be open on Saturday in West Bloomfield and in Kego. Uh, you can get in there and more information about how to vote. It, it, you know, it's, it used to just go on Election Day and vote. We've got absentee. We've got all kinds of different options for you to vote in so many different ways now. So uh, take advantage of it. Two very important issues. Uh, this new bond issue for the school and, and the new millage for the um, Kegel Harbor Police. Kegel Harbor Police millage is very narrowly missed last time it was on the ballot, and it is up for you to decide. Contact your local communities or local school district if you are interested in more information. So um, all kinds of great stuff going on here in our area, of course. Are we ready? Is she ready? Jared? Almost. Okay, so she's not ready. So let's um, move on here. We'll get to Suzanne in just a couple of minutes. Um, West Bloomfield Parks reminds us that all the bathrooms, playgrounds, tennis, and pickleball courts are now all totally open and available to you. So if you want to get out to one of our parks right now, feel free to do so. They are totally open. The bathrooms are open. The parks are open. The baseball fields are open. And the soccer fields are open. It is a great time to get out and enjoy the outdoors and, uh, and see our amazing parks. They're all over the area. If you've not enjoyed one of them. Great picture right there, the amazing facilities at Marsh Bank Park. But if you've not been out to one of your local parks in the community, we encourage you to do so soon. So you may have uh, heard about the fire that happened in Kegel Harbor. And uh, unfortunately, one individual and his dog lost his life. And it was a terrible incident. But as you can see here in the picture, um, the neighbors were also affected. And there's been a GoFundMe page set up to help Carla and her mom, Tony, who lived, and they can't now, in that trailer that you just saw. So they really have been displaced. They need a lot of other things, clothes and other things, to get back on their feet. There is a QR code for the GoFundMe page. A lot of great people in our community have already helped out. Um, and if you want to do so and you feel that's the right thing, Go to the QR code, scan that with your phone, and you'll be right off to the GoFundMe page and be able to help out one of your friends and neighbors in Kego Harbor. Joining us now here on the Splash Live, we are so excited to check in with Suzanne Levine from the Greater West Bloomfield Chamber. Good morning, Suzanne. How are you? Good morning. Well, it's a beautiful day, so it's what could be bad. <laughs> it, it's a beautiful day, and for West Bloomfield, you just have to be thrilled because business is good. As I take a look at it, we got Schuler Books getting ready to open. We talked to them yesterday on the show. They're going to have an event on Saturday, not quite ready to open yet, but this huge, amazing bookstore is opening. We've got a Tesla dealership that's going to open right in the heart of West Bloomfield. Couldn't be uh, couldn't be cooler. I think it was you that was on the show earlier that said, we're going to call up Yolan and see if he's going to come in and, and hang out with us. I, I don't know if that'll happen. And, and then one of our top Restaurant tours um, is putting in yet another restaurant, and they've done such a good job with their other restaurants. It's glad to see that, and I know they're a local company, but it's, I'm just so happy to see that they continue to invest in our community. It's a great time, isn't it, for you at the chamber? Absolutely, and we need more restaurants in our community. I know that this community loves to eat out. Even during the pandemic, um, people were kind of tired of cooking. Here's one of them. And so it was great to be able to carry out from places. And now that we're, you know, totally back into, you know, wanting to be out in public, uh, this couldn't come at a better time. Uh, a new great restaurant in that prime location. Well, and it's going to be called Aurora Italiana, and it's going to be in the location where Chow was on Orchard Lake Road. And, you know, that location, I was talking about it earlier, that, that when I was a kid, that was like the sign of the beef carver, for goodness no. sakes. It's gone through so many, you know, so many changes, but it's a great location. Here's a great picture of what it's going to look like inside. Gorgeous. Amazing. And uh, Barbat Holdings uh, is right here. It's a local company who's developing these restaurants. Restaurants. And Joe Barbat, who I assume you know, said yes. our guests are going to be amazed by this upscale dining experience paired with stunning and unique decor. We can see it. Suzanne, what are your thoughts about this one? I'm so excited because, you know, it's a different concept. Uh, we don't really have an Italian restaurant, uh, especially an upscale Italian restaurant in our area. 
um, you know, perhaps there'll be room also to have private parties there, which I know that a lot of people, including my family, is always looking for a local venue to host something. We just actually hosted a shower for my nephew at Prime 29, which does a fabulous job. So we're so excited. And yes, that has had like a lot of changes there. I remember in the heyday of, of Big Daddy's, which was the place to be seen. It was. Yeah. And uh, that was, you know, all the at local athletes and, um, you know, it was hard to get a table, actually, unless you knew someone. And then Huerto. So this is in Chow, of course. So it's really exciting that we'll have this really fabulous Italian restaurant by a group that really knows what they're doing. Well, they really do. They're right here in West Bloomfield. They really care about our community. And uh, you missed it at the beginning of the show, but I took a look at those three locations, all right? Prime 29, when I was a kid, was a big boy. Uh, <laughs> it was a big boy. That's where yes. we all went for coffee, right across hey. the street, uh, you know, where the sushi place is now. Um, right. Yeah, that, uh, that was Nara Sushi, forgive me. That was a Ponderosa Steakhouse. So, you know, I mean, we continue to evolve and, and these turn into upscale restaurants, which really is what we want and need in our community. And it certainly meets the needs of our community, reflects well on our community. And it's, uh, it's so exciting to see these restaurants continue to develop. And you're right, we need more. Absolutely. Well, I'm very fond of Big Boy because it was the night before I went into labor with my daughter. Um, <laughs> I chose the wrong meal, but that's a whole nother story for another time. And yes, um, Nara, that location went through a lot of changes as well. Sure. Uh, a lot of people remember Bloomfield Charlie's yep. and um, also was a crab shack, which I don't think really fit into the West Bloomfield kind of uh, taste situation. But I'm so excited because Nara has found a home and it's, the food is fabulous there. So. I'm really, really so excited because my family's always looking for another restaurant in our area to support, and I'm sure the community will welcome them with open palates. <laughs> well, they will, um, and, and we couldn't be more thrilled about those developments. Good sign that our community is vibrant and healthy. Yes. Right down the road, there's going to be a Tesla dealership coming right to Maple and Orchard Lake Road. I think that's thrilling as well. And you know, it's kind of unusual that we normally wouldn't put a car dealership right in that retail section of town. And certainly West Bloomfield planners are always very careful about things like that. But Tesla is a little bit different. Here's a picture Absolutely. of one of the other locations. And you know, I mean, Tesla's got a shop in Somerset Mall for goodness sakes. They're used to selling cars in a retail environment. Well, Tesla's, you know, a, a whole different animal. And uh, certainly for, you know, the, with the Ferrari dealership, it, it's, it's a different image that we, you know, that we'll be projecting, not just some used car lot. So um, I'm really excited. And yes, I'm going to reach out to Uncle Alon. I'm going to try to see if there's any <laughs> six degrees of separation between uh, my family and his. You never can tell. You, you'd um, never know. We should just make a connection, and it, it's yes. gonna. You never know. Maybe he will show up. It'd be great. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to connect with his mom because okay. he seems to really love his mom. Okay. So I think that would be like a really great way in with him. All right, and then again, Schuler Books, a great book retailer. Um, retail uh, sales of books a very difficult thing to do. They are a local retailer in Michigan. They're headquartered in Grand Rapids. They got a location there, a location in East Lansing, and a location in Ann Arbor. And now they're getting ready to open this location. Here in West Bloomfield, uh, it's absolutely fantastic, Suzanne. I poked yeah. in the window. They're not quite open yet. On Saturday, they're going to do a little event because it's uh, like National Local Booksellers Day or something this, this Saturday. So they're going to do a little event in their lobby. They can't quite open the store, but if you're going to be in that area at 14 and Orchard Lake Road, go find Schuler's and check it out. It's going to be a lot of fun. I think it speaks so highly of our community that Tesla and Schuler's and now, uh, you know, Prime Concepts is investing in our community. Um, and so I'm really excited to see where the future takes us. I, I think it's just amazing that all these great different organizations want to invest and they understand that this is a community that is really just moving on up. 
Well, it's great news. Congratulations to all of those. And, you know, with success comes more success. So the fact that you've got a great story and I know, you know, you're one of the, the people that when folks are thinking about doing something in our community, they called you. You're a good ambassador to help people weave their way through, you know, who do you call? Who do you call in the township? Who do you call in our cities? You know, is this going to work? Just to get some kind of a feel uh, for a business owner before they put a lot of investment investment in there. People do call you, but it's got to be easier when you're talking to people, when you have all these other great stories um, to tell. Absolutely. And I love being this business matchmaker. That's how I bill myself, because if I can keep people in business another week, month, year, years, then, you know, I've done a great job. So that's kind of my mission. Well, you, you do a great job, and uh, congratulations, and thank you very much for all you do for our community. Uh, before we go, we only got a minute or two more. I know you got some events coming up. Is there anything else you want to promote today and just give yes, a little sir. nod to the people watching? Yeah. Absolutely. And, and thank you again to all you do, because you really are a business matchmaker as well, you know, thank promoting you. all you. of our great businesses. We really appreciate it. Well, our biggest event coming up is our health and wellness event, June 14th at the West Bloomfield Township offices. And we're very grateful to Steve Kaplan and all the staff there. They do a great job of helps, helping support uh, this event. It's open to the public. We hope we'll see all of you there. Um, I think Civic Center TV might even come and do some interviews. Uh, with some of our local businesses. There'll be over 40 local health and wellness organizations there with blood pressure, eye exams, all kinds of free swag, which people love, and also great information about how to sustain your health and where do you go to if you need some support. So we're really excited about that. Um, and October 4th is going to be our leadership breakfast again, and we're so excited to have Rup Raj uh, our local MC from Fox uh, News and Casey Crane, Crane Communication, who's going to talk a little bit about all the great things that are happening in our state with our business community and kind of, you know, what to look for as we approach the election in, you know, the next couple of years. You so. must have the goods on <laughs> Casey Crane and Rubraj because they always say yes to you. For a year. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know they're your good friends and they really want to support our community. And it's great when you can book, you know, both of them, a major media personality and then somebody like Casey Crane. I mean, he is connected to everybody and especially for you as a chamber. Um, it's really great to have, you know, the publisher of uh, not only Detroit's leading business magazine, but, um, you know, there's cranes in almost in New York, Chicago. And I mean, they're huge. Yeah, yes, they are. They are. They're huge. And, yeah, they, I made them an offer they can't refuse. <laughs> I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. All right. Well, good Good to see you, Suzanne. Thank you very much Thanks. for joining us. Um, I, I just want to let the audience know I always call Suzanne on short notice and say, hey, can you come on the show in five minutes? i got a story I want to talk to you about. So Suzanne, I also should say, just give her a quick nod, is a member of the Greater West Bloomfield Cable Communications Board and that makes all of this happen. So uh, thanks for everything you do for our community. Good to see you and uh, enjoy the sunny day, Suzanne. You too, and thanks again for all you do, really. We are most appreciative. It is my complete pleasure. None of it happens without the hard work of Jared and Calvin and, of course, Tyler Keefe, who's going to be coming up, and about 30 or 40 other people that work at uh, Michigan Digital, my company, that make all of this happen. So thanks to our team. Thank you for you and your team joining us this morning all together. We're all making, the, we're all making this a better place each and every day, and uh, we're glad to be here and be your morning cheerleader. Have a fantastic day. Enjoy the sunshine. It's going to be cool, but very nice. Tyler's got a great show lined up on the Megacast. So stay tuned. Part of our 90 Minutes live television each and every Monday through Friday right here at Civic Center TV. Have a great day.